while we still cannot effectively predict when an earthquake will strike, sensitive monitoring equipment all over the world can now provide us with important information about location, size and probable impact. The instruments used to record this information are called seismographs and have increased our understanding of both earthquakes and the Earth itself. The Earth is made up of four layers. The inner core, a solid metal. The outer core, a liquid metal. The mantle, a semi-liquid rock. And the crust, made up of solid rocks with a brittle surface. The Earth's crust is broken into several massive slabs of rock called plates, which extend beneath oceans and continents alike. They are constantly moving, one against the other, as they drift on the hot liquid rock of the mantle beneath. Huge pressures are building up all the time, particularly along the plate boundaries where any two plates meet. An earthquake occurs when two large masses of rock, which are being pushed one against the other, uh, suddenly find they can't stand the pressure anymore. Now the pressures actually are all the way through the plates, so we do get some earthquakes which aren't at those edges, but most of the bigger ones, and in fact most of the earthquakes that we have all around the world, occur in those narrow bands. The plates can move in one of three different ways. They can move apart or diverge, allowing hot magma to rise up from the mantle below. The expansion places a tremendous strain on the plates, forcing them apart. The plates can push together or converge. When this happens, either one plate is forced beneath the other, or if neither plate will move downwards, they continue squeezing together until the rock pushes up to form mountains. And at transform plate boundaries, the plates scrape past each other in opposite directions. When the pressures continue to build, it creates high levels of friction. This stops the plates from moving until the pressures overpower the friction and, with a sudden snap, the plates jet past each other. Any one of these movements can attack weak points in the crust, creating large cracks or faults. The point where the crust begins to crack is called the focus and is the heart of an earthquake. The release of all that stored up energy pumps out seismic or shock waves in every direction. On the surface, directly above the focus, is the epicentre and this receives the worst effects of the waves.